Mum, you've forgotten your breakfast. Shall I put your toast on? Oh, yes, thanks, love. All right, if I babysit tomorrow. And for Avril. Lance is taking it for a meal out at the pagoda. That's Chinese food, isn't it? They say it's nice. But always at the bottom of us here in Beverly. They've got TV. On a rest, will you? All right, Mum. Yeah, try this one. Catch a Winston Churchill, wash him in the Purcell, hang him on the line to dry. <laughs> well, then. Catch a Winston Churchill, wash him in the Purcell, hang him on the line to dry. <laughs> Here, for you, Churchill, from Dave in Malta. Oh, hang him on that. the line to Another dry. stamp for your Catch collection? Hey, you do still collect stamps, don't you? Catch you when I have time. Bye. Bye. Hang him on the line to dry. Oh, Winston. 1957. The average family has more money to buy things. And there is more to buy. All sorts of electrical goods. For children, there's a wider range of toys. Many proudly labelled made in Britain. But not all. Imported products give us more choice. We can trade with former enemies. Twelve years after the end of the war, small cars made in Germany are proving popular, like the bubble car made by Messerschmitt, once better known for fighter planes. In the sales competition between companies and nations, more is spent on advertising. ITV programs are paid for by the advertisers' commercial breaks, not by a license fee. And as more families now have TV, this is a good way of getting the sales message across to the consumer. Oi, Susan! You've forgotten these. This morning. It's radio and TV times today. Just there to show how many people have television. This isn't fair. I will still be the only house in Bradley without. Oh, poor Susan. My dad's frightened she'll get square eyes. <laughs> or fail an exam. Or lose use of her legs. Had <laughs> chance. I want to do making street as well. If you've time. She's time. She can belt up that hill, she can. <laughs> I'll have ten wood bars while I'm at it, Jimmy. You couldn't. You're always out of puff. You should stop smoking. Go on, get on with it. <sighs> she might be right, Jimmy. Still, I'm not bothered yeah. at my age. Hey, what's this here? Sliced bread? It's what customers want. It's what telecommercials tell them they ought to want. You'll be putting me out of business. Oi, are you going to pay for them or what? Oh, how's that washing machine? Promising. Promising to do everything all by itself while I take the children to school. What do you want next? An electric toaster? I don't feel very well. Don't you, love? Oh, she does feel a bit hot. Could be all that skipping. Or a polio vaccination, I don't know. Oh, that's what it'll be. I'll keep her at home today. Roger! Are you off? Go with your dad as far as the corner shop and call for Peter, all right? Oh, mummy, it hurts! Cheer up, princess. You'll feel better by tea time. That's better. <laughs> and phone to say you'll be late if you to play football, OK? OK, Dad! <laughs> He'll not be picked. He's always first reserve is our Peter. <laughs> oh, aye, aye. Elvis the pelvis. <laughs> I tell you, this country gets more Americanized by the minute. The Yanks are a bad influence. Your Susan brought that new Elvis Presley record to youth club. Oh, I thought Tommy Steele was bad enough. But at least he's British. Dorothy felt faint when she heard it. Dorothy Wood. Ooh, I'm gonna swoon, she said. They're flaking out in droves and then concerts every time he wiggles his it. Should have picked it up from television. I don't like it. It's almost indecent. What, TV or his wiggly it? Both.
British man of life becoming a thing of the past with you not glued to that goggle box all the time. You know what's the matter with you, Michael? What's that? You're a square. <laughs> So, you're pleased with it? Yeah, it's all shook up. I'm with you for doing all the overtime to buy it. I can do some more tonight, sorting. There's no need to work so hard. Now that Beverly's at school, I can take another part-time job, can't I? No. To help out? No, Joan. I'd not have agreed to you working an evening at the Sorrento if Uncle Albert hadn't have talked me into it. I mean, Beverly isn't at school today, is she? How often are they poorly? And with my earnings, we could afford a television. We don't need a television. Oh, Michael, we do. How often do we see our children when they're off colour? The rest of the time, they're at school or in other people's houses. I wouldn't have a TV as a gift. Not even for the children's sake. It's for their sake I won't have one. They'd get brain rot. What happens to homework? Hobbies? Roger's library book will be due again. Because he can't find time to read it. And why can't he find time to read it? Because he's always round at Peter's house watching television. I want him to play musical instruments. Cricket, make models, do things. I won't have them sat in the dark spoiling their eyes. Keep them at home. How? This is much faster. Good talent tonight. Let me have a go. Come on, hurry up, it's my turn. They might let me stay up for Dragnet. My dad, he said there's too much American stuff on TV. How would he know? It's funny in your house. No telly, and no sliced bread. My dad's a square. Give us a really big push. And you never give me one. Well... I'm sorry Roger's been spending so much time round at your house. It's the TV he's taken with. It's no bother. Oh, I want a box of that soap powder for the washing machine. Oh, Mum? Yeah. It's never that time. Oh, Roger. We've got to send home early. Half the school's off sick. You'll be sick by the time I get you home. Fancy getting your school clothes into that mess. Someone's mum just doesn't know what someone's mum really ought to know. And someone's mum better get to know that Percy washes whiter, whiter, whiter. <laughs> you ought to charge to come in here. <laughs> What's everybody's secret? How is she? No better. I'm going next door to phone the doctor. Roger, will you gargle and go to bed, please? Oh, Mum, I'm not ill. Let's keep it that way, shall we? You too, Susan. Oh, Mum. You want to babysit with Margot and Anthony tomorrow? Your dad's out all night, so you can use our bed. I'll sleep with Beverly. Okay. Shall I go up and sit with her? Oh. Listen, I can phone. You've got to be at work in a quarter of an hour. No, just listen out in case she cries. Shan't be long. Upstairs quietly, Roger. There's a good lad. She will get better, won't she? Of course she will. Up you go. All right. Come on. Good night, Dad. Dad, where's Ghana? Um, it's a new country in Africa. Gone independent. The Gold Coast? Yeah, that's what they called it when it was a British colony. Oh, what a page for the Gold Coast. Pity it had to lose such a lovely name. Uh -huh. Pity we had to lose it from the Empire. Oh, no, Michael, it's a change for the better, surely. I mean, black Africans want their freedom. And oh, why not? Any mistakes they make, at least they'll be their own mistakes. And who's to say they won't run things properly? You're very knowledgeable, Auntie Bertha. <laughs> well, I saw a programme about it. Tonight, uh, like a sort of tea time news programme. Oh, you would enjoy it, Michael. Don't pull any bunches. I hear all the news on the wireless. Can't show your maps on wireless. The doctor can't come yet. I'll have to phone again later if she's any worse. Can't come yet? There's an absolute epidemic. Some mystery bug. 
They're calling it Asian flu. until one of them's ill. Your children mean a lot to us, you know, Joe. Albert and me never had any luck in that direction. You make it sound as if we're doing you a great favour. That's what I reckon. Right. I don't want to hurt our feelings. <laughs> but you bought a television licence not long since. This one's in the name of Michael Brady, 33 Westmore Grove. Don't tell me he's given in at last. He don't know yet, does he? And if any of them comes in shop today, don't say a word. Remember, careless talk costs lives. <laughs> Michael, half little last. Half the last. That's good. You'll be finishing in an hour or two, won't you? Ah, not before time. Then I'm a phone for a snooze. I'm not. There's no more petrol rationing, is there? The county cricket, you heard him, eh? And's he coming? This afternoon? Ah. I'd better warn Joan. No need. I'll be passing. I'll pick you up at War Memorial, half past eleven. You're on! Fixed up behind Tab back. Groovy. You can thank Uncle Albert and Auntie Bertha. Not my fault, this. Wow, aren't they kind? It's for the whole family, mind. So no arguing with Roger about what to watch. Oh, bother. I can't tonight. I'm babysitting. Can't you watch Avril's? I want to watch ours. Oh, so we might be seeing a little bit more of you now. Well, your dad's gone to Headingley. Beverly's in bed. Roger's going to choir practice. So I'll have it all to myself this Aww. evening. Can't I watch too? You little horror, what are you doing now? I must have found down my better. Come oh. on, in <laughs> this minute. Though absent long, your Lord is now. He judged my friends and victory. That was a bit thin and a bit flat. Oh, where is everyone? Well, they are flu except us. Well, may as well call off choir practice then. Let's hope there's more here for matins. Same time next week. Can we go now? Unless anybody wants to try a solo. No, sir. Come on, Pete. Hey! Are you going for a crafty pint, Uncle Lawrence? I am not. I want to put in a bit of practice on the uh, 23rd Psalm. To me this way. Well, I never felt more like no, steady on, steady on. What happened to choir practice? Cancelled. Wait, 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 wait. Now, what would you do if I told you the tube had blown? Oh no, you can't have. Why don't you go play at Rogers? Come on, I've got a better idea. What? The Sorrento, your uncle and auntie. Well, this is what. Come on. Together now, putting on the agony, putting on the style. 
That's what all the young folks are doing all the while And as I look around me, I'm sometimes apt to smile Seeing all the young folks putting on the style Thank you! Oh, good evening, Miss Simpkins. They're not bad, these Bradley lads, are they? Ah. Better than that lot we've just seen at Eddingley. True woman ball well, didn't he? Aye. He made their batters jump a bit. <laughs> the stumper too. <laughs> <laughs> no, another call him fiery Fred. <laughs> Them West Indian batsmen are in for a bit of a shock. Not long to the first test, eh? I hope that's edge bastard, isn't it? Can't get this way, did you, can we? Ah, we'll hear it on the wireless. Remember your first wireless? That old crystal set. You can't have been much older than Roger is now. Stringing an aerial across the backyard to the kitchen tap, eh? You help? I know, we put your Uncle Tom up from that broadcast, did it, down pit? <laughs> ah, you gave me mam a bit of a fright. Now, ah, you'll get more like your mum every day. How'd you make that out? Well, she won't talk in on that wireless, will she? I mean, show how Maggie and Miracle and Modern Science she'd run a mile. Are you getting at me? I just can't understand why you won't have a television. I'll leave it out, Uncle Albert. I've nothing against television, but I won't have one taking over our lives. They've got this clever little knob on them. It's called an on-off switch. Oh, see that? Switch is a nut. Good shot, lad. Does your mum know where you are? No. Well, I'm sorry, Roger. We can't have a worry in. Can we telephone? I haven't got one. Oh, no. Listen, miss, why don't you go home, tell her where you'll be, and then you can come back. Mm -hmm. The back of it will have started by then. We can do it if we run, Roger. We might, just. <laughs> you might have a nice surprise waiting for you, Tom. Can I come and babysit for you? He puts in the telly on. Go away. You can't watch Rotten Buccaneers because I'm watching 6-5 Special. Ah. That's only rotten pop music, can't we? No. You ought to go to our house. You never know your luck. Someone's mum just doesn't know what someone's mum really ought to know. So someone's mum better get to know a purple bunch is whiter, 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 whiter. She's got TV! She's even finding out the channel! We're watching an adventure. Pirates on the high seas or something. Well, that suit you two. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, Michael. That's a television aerial on your roof, wouldn't you? Hell, fire! What's been going on? $64,000 question, that is. I'll be having words with Joan about this. We can't afford a television. Michael. Come here. It's a present, lad. From me and Bertha. I can't take that. It's far too much. For once in your life, why don't you give in gracefully? I mean, think about it. All them test matches. Freddie Truman bowling in your front room. Ah? Hmm. Go and enjoy it. Hey! What? Thanks. Wash up. Break up a friendly party for. 